Hi, this is Flecky. Welcome to the Road to Glory Career Mode Youth Edition with Mansfield Town. Welcome to episode 67, season 4. Uh, it's going great for us in the league. We're going to have a look at the calendar to see the games we're playing this episode. We're going to start with an away game where we play Huddersfield. It's on the 28th of January. Then uh, the transfer window will come. Uh, the closure of the transfer window, I should say. Uh, probably no action from us. Uh, the second game of the episode is going to be played at home at the field mill when we're going to have Stoke City visiting us. Um, the third game on the 11th of February is going to play Queensborough Rangers away at Loftus Road. And uh, we end the episode uh, with a home game, I think, on the 18th of February at, uh, when Preston's visiting us at the, at the field mill. So those are the four games and uh, it's, it's, you know, I'm always worried about some of the games and uh, we can see we're, uh, we're 30 games into the season and we, we were we were sitting at second. We have six points down to Sheffield United and Stoke. Uh, we're playing Stoke this episode. Um, that's, that's an important game. We can't do anything else but a draw. Anyway, we, we're going to head into the first, first game here when we play Huddersfield. At the Kirklas Stadium. Let's go get those three points. Come on, lads. Hello, and a warm welcome to you from West Yorkshire. We're in Huddersfield. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary, as always, is Lee Dixon. And what we have for you is live action from the Championship. It's Huddersfield Town, and they face Mansfield Town. And just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And it's a quality pass. Diakabi with it. Is he capable of sparking something? Oh dear. What can he do from here? Making progress. I think he knew he was guilty of fouling. Free kick conceded. And the free kick caught. Mounier has it. Keeping the ball moving. He has time to play it over. On the ball in Benza. In full control of the ball here. Can he take this chance? And a goal it is. The opener in this lid. Tactics have got to change. So the match has restarted, 1-0. Corner kick played over. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. Good looking sequence. Lille, he's got the score! And he's given a corner, their referee. It hasn't come to very much. looking ball wonderful chance well no shortage of excitement level again no wonder they're excited well the earlier goal cancelled out one apiece beautifully weighted ball Precise. On and on he goes. Still looking for space. Tiagami! Janinho Bakuda. Benza. And making sure nothing untoward happened following the cross. He's got the right idea with that pass. Here's the replay, didn't panic, did he? 
decent strike, good technique, bread and butter strike really, but it's in the back of the net. Well, let's take another one. Well, 2-1 it is here. Diagabi with it. Nothing wrong with that idea. And they've only gone and applied that finishing touch. Well, the offside flag has been raised. No goal. the final minutes of normal time. And space for the cross. That's how to rob them of possession. That's it, the referee brings the action to an end. That was a nice win. We won two goals to one. We have a training session in the background, but that was those three points were really well. I I, st I say that after every win, but all the points are really <laughs> needed for us to, to keep a distance down because um, we're aiming for the automatic promotion. Um, since we won the last time at Sheffield United, uh, we won one goal to zero. Yeah. No, we won both games. We won both. Anyway, the, the last game that when we actually, you know, passed them in the league. You know, we are six. We're six points ahead of them. So we have a little gap between us and and Sheffield United, and then of course Stoke, and we're playing Stoke next. So if we win that one, you know, we're gonna have 14 games to play in the league, and uh, um, you know. He said, I'm, I have a feeling we might see some Premier League action. Which, uh, anyway, we have a chance to win those to, to close. I'm not doing anything. Um, I'm happy with my squad. Might sell or, or send on loan, but you know, I'm not buying anyone. We're gonna have a, a, a check what happened during this uh, transfer window. We start uh, where, where we are. Oh yeah, we sold well, we sold Arthur um, for seven point five to, to Bristol City. Um, Konar is out on loan to Chippenham. Lindström went out on loan to to Mallorca. Um, Allen is at Sheffield United on loan. We sent a lot of people out on loan because we don't want them to be. Unhappy in the, because they don't want to get a lot of game. Conchicao is at uh, Vallecano, he's on loan. Gompala went to yeah, Astra. I'm not going to try to pronounce it. Barr went on loan to Norwich. And Engelbrekson went to Nunes on loan. And we sold Hudson to Charlton for 1.3. And we bought Dukara. Plus uh, 10 million plus Joe, the central midfielder. So we have a new left wing. Um, we also sold Anderson to Molde for 2.65. Yeah, Dukara, I have a feeling he's gonna be. I think it's Ribéry's region. Um, and I think he's gonna be really interesting, to be honest. He could, he, he, he will be better than, than Goss was. The, he, he's like, a, a, I have Bird as well. They can play, you know, but anyway. Well, yeah, here it is. Ducara said to replace Goss. Yeah, definitely. Hopefully he can, well, Goss didn't score that many goals though. Well, we'll see. We'll see how, how, how he will be. Uh, he's gonna start at the left wing when we play Stoke at the field. Um, this is a really important game. If we win this one, 
I promise, you know, I, I think we, we're good to go for the Premier League, almost. <laughs> Let's go, boys, give me three points. Well, this is the setting for our featured match today. Welcome to you. Alan Smith is alongside me, Martin Tyler. Our action today comes from the Championship in England. It's Mansfield Town against Stoke City. You can really leave somebody flat-footed when he's got a mind to it. There's space for him. Now out on the wing. Don't be annoyed with the cross because it was the goalkeeper's ball all the way. 1-1. It's great to have Alan McAnally out and about for us. And he's brought us right up to date again there. The table. Yeah. Oh, great chance! Turned aside there by the keeper. Trying to find an opening. This could be it. Must be a goal. Oh, oh, the... It's a very good interception. Open the scoring. 1-0 here. Back. Quick thinking. down there he's less than happy obviously his team's losing that's bad enough but no real sign so far that they're going to get back into it now a shot keeper has reached it On the attack here. He to try and hit it now. Saved, but not decisively. That did look like. Referee's uh, ended it here. Can't get much better than this, really, Alan, to win and keep a clean sheet. Yeah, I think that will be the pleasing aspect of it, as well as the three points, the clean sheet, uh, particularly the keeper. Delighted with that. Well, he's had a very good game, hasn't he? Oh, lots of energy, lots of quality, and a good goal, along with plenty of chances. That was brilliant. Three goals to zero. Strandberg, Kerku, and an own goal. And we have a win. That's another training session no one would care about because nothing's probably going to happen. I'm thinking about cutting out the, the training sessions. I don't think anyone really enjoys them, to be honest. Um, my main thought when I, when I added this, um, it's, I think it was in season one, um, it was just to you know, show you guys who I was giving some training. And I was also thinking about maybe have a uh, few guys choose the players, but I skipped that thought because I started to record ahead, uh, so that would have been impossible anyway. But we are well. We left Stoke behind us to visit. To you know, they are sitting fifth now, and we are second. We have seven points down to Brentford this time. So Sheffield United is. And they had a draw. So we've got seven points. We have a gap. And the bottom is it's the same. We have a gap there. Uh, it's going to be interesting. We're going to... Oh, yeah. They, they renamed the Skin Price Foundation. 
They renamed Loftus. No, they, they didn't rename. They they moved stadium. Anyway, we'll get three points anyway. Let's go. Hi there, everyone. A big welcome to you to Loftus Road, Queen's Park Rangers base in West London. Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith. Our football is from the EFL Championship in England. Queen's Park Rangers against Mansfield Town. A lot of talk about this match. Great build-up. Let's hope we get it there for that story. Alan McAnally, of course. Good vision. Trying to pick out someone in the centre. Saved. Not this okay, okay. Please contact Goes out wide again. Thank you. Now the possibility for a cross. They could go in front here. Oh, saved by... He's put in the corner, put away, but not out of harm's way. Well, here he goes. This could be a chance. It's a shot now. And there it is, the opening goal. And there now. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Possession back for his team. Behind the defenders, over their heads. This could be the leveller. A stretch the opposition with a bit of width. To go in from here. Couldn't go down it. Real chance! And that shot's blocked very quickly trying to slip it through it's a promising situation that's a good tackle as you can see the visitors trailing in the possession stakes trying to steer it through Widen the margin here to 2 0. He's confident with the ball at his feet, isn't he? Great chance! Oh, here it is! It's another one for them, they go further in front. Well, sometimes games take a while to ignite, not this one, not for this team. That's the referee signalling for half-time, blowing his whistle, and it's 3-0 here. Covering the EFL Championship fixture for Queen's Park Rangers, they'll be facing Sheffield Wednesday. Incisive pass. And they're in to score to reduce the deficit. A 3 1 it is now the score though. Great chance! He's given the penalty and it's all going wrong at the moment. Yeah, it's just got worse, Martin. I think that's probably the game done and dusted. Penalty given, Alan, but no sign of a card. No, I think that. in a minute for QPR to bring on a fresh player. Good vision. He's confident with the ball at his feet, isn't he? Well, he used the inside of his ear again, thanks to Alan McAnally. He's got some room out there. Our chance! There's another one for him. They go further in front. They are full value for this position. Well, the game petering out a little bit now, with both sides settling for one break now. Couldn't 
keep it. It's all over. There is the final whistle. Well, at times you thought they got a bit greedy, but why not? I mean, if you're on top of it, run it like they were here today. Rub it in. Well, they did. They were ruthless, didn't they? So we managed to win for Goza one. That was amazing. And we, we were playing at Loftus Road. I don't know. Did they rename the stadium or? Because I think I heard that they were gonna move. Anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, we won, and we're still sitting second. We have seven points down to Brentford now. So Brentford, Sheffield United, and Stoke, I guess, will be the the one hunting us for for the second automatic promotion. Um, no, it's just they don't seem to be able to to lose. They only lost two games. Um, they are tough. It's it's 13 games to play, and we have a seven. Point. I really like the fact. I mean, Reading is what 59 points. They are so far. So we will secure a, an automatic. No, sorry, a, a, a playoff spot if anything. But it's looking really great for that automatic promotion. Um, knowing myself, I don't really want to go into a playoff because when I've been playing off cam and I, I have, you know, to, to I re reach like a playoff spot and I, I never won. That's just, I don't know. I can't do that. And I don't want to, I want to go straight. I would, lo I mean, I would love to win the championship and have that silver wear because I don't have that one, but. You know, I'll, if I get second, I'll, I'll be up. Not gonna lie, I'll be up. Uh, the third, no, four, fourth, <laughs> sorry. I'm, I'm all excited now. The fourth game of this episode is gonna play at home. We're playing Preston. Um, where are they sitting in the league? Oh, they're down on 17th. Well, if we keep on, you know, playing as we have, uh, we're gonna win this pretty easy. Um, saying that, I probably jinxed it, but we'll try. Well, I can't really, well, I'm not gonna talk too much about that. We're going for the three points, that's all. Um, yeah. If we can get another three points here, then this has been an amazing episode. Um, we have full stamina on the, full, the first team, so let's go, boys. Three points. Well, this is the setting for our featured match today. Welcome to you. Alan Smith alongside me, Martin Tyler for the commentary. Our football is from the EFL Championship in England. It's Mansfield Town against Preston North End. He's as quick as anybody. Uh, almost as quick when he hasn't got the ball, so that's a real threat here. One striker will need a bit of support. Yeah, you do not want him to be left isolated, <laughs> otherwise this formation will not work. There is no doubt that the home side today are the story of the season so far. Tremendous football, great results. Catching practice. Indeed, for the goalkeeper here from that poor cross. That's a clever pass, good save. That was a definite booking. The player's got no complaints. What a fine save. Alan Keegan, Alan Keegan, please come to reception. Here comes the corner. Yeah, I think it's going to be a good investment, and I can see him hitting the ground running, having an impact from day one. One or two options now in forward areas for them. That was a foul, the referee. This to put them ahead. The big hitters have hit again. They go in front with their. That has opened the scoring. 1 0 here. In goes the corner. Shots on here. Confident. Put the corner in the middle. All Peters out rather for them. A 
opportunity in a wider area. A real chance here. And now they're two up with another fine piece of attacking play. Typical, really, of the work of the players and the effort that they put in on the training ground. The manager has got terrific belief in attacking. Set there. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. The hosts with less possession, that's interesting. But they have played some slick, really beautiful football out there. The way that they broke out from the defence, it's just been the pace of the play, the way that they've chosen the passes, it's been so clinical. And it's down to the Trying to find the opening, which would be so crucial. There's still time if they can get this goal. And we restart Preston the game. North end Two goal. one. Number eleven, Daniel Johnson. Great to have Alan McAnally out and about for us with great vision here. Saved by the keep. Some players are up with good vision. The keeper back into play and the responsibility as well. Whip it in now. Tries the shot. We've got to clear it now. We see a substitute coming on for the away team here. It's a very good interception. A strong player, and he shielded it well. Going forward well. Keeping the ball well under some pressure. Oh, time to get the cross now. Really important reading of the danger there by the defender. He needs to be careful here. Pulls it back rather than crosses. And it's a goal! What a comeback here. There were two goals adrift there, not now. So it's 2 2 now. for the goalkeeper well I don't know what was wrong there whether he took his eye off the ball he certainly didn't connect with it how he should have with great vision here no chance well the keeper's got that quick word from our man Alan McAnally elsewhere about a red card in his game excellent vision towards the last 15 minutes one or two options now in forward areas for them oh great chance well, he's reached that. Now, can he take them off? Must take the lead here, which they do with so little time left. Surely that's the winner. Well, I just thought that was coming, that goal. They were the better side last ten minutes and should be the winner. How hard they've had to work to enjoy this celebration now that they... Oh, plenty of goals here today, 3-2. Now the countdown is to 10 minutes left. It's one last attack. Can they get that late equaliser? They've been pushing for it. Look at this again. It is the equaliser. They have managed it in the dying moments. We almost think that the team that was in the lead thought they'd won this match, but they've been made to pay for that. Great news for the manager because I think he made uh, a couple of changes there, and now they're back on level terms. Brilliant entertainment. The scores are level again. Very tight affair here. He's got some room out there. Lost his man. Trying to pick out someone in the centre. He's got it away. Well, there is the final whistle, and it's finished all square. Really bad weather today. Really good game. Yeah, we forgot about the weather. Only 10 minutes in because it was so entertaining. Great stuff. It's a great performance, particularly in the circumstances, Alan.
Well, he played really well, got himself. So we have a 3-3 draw. We didn't lose, that's important. Uh, you can see that Brentford have 71 and we got 76. So they are five points behind us. We, we had, well, they, they gained two points. Um, they won and we, we lost. Uh, so yeah, it might be a close ending of this season. Uh, it's 12 more games to play. Um, hopefully we get Ostinho back soon. I wouldn't mind to have him back. He is very important. Uh, Fraser is suspended, which sucks because he's a really great left back. Um, got Arthur at backup, so it will be okay. Wow, that was an action-packed <laughs> episode. For me at least, uh, I don't know what you guys think. Um, we got some really needed points, uh, we're still second, we have five points down to, to the playoff position. So we're at automatic promotion right now and it's looking great. Uh, I want to thank you guys, I'm, I'm wrapping this episode up, um, so thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed recording this and, and play the games. Um, and I really enjoy the fact that we're sitting second. Um, just the mere thought of actually playing the Premier League makes me like... It, it triggers me, to be honest. I really look forward to, to when uh, Mansfield Town can, can have some Premier League action. It's just going to be surreal. Um, but anyway... Um, you know what to do, the likes, the comments, I'll, I'll reply to your comments of course, uh, if you're new uh, if I, and if you enjoy this, please subscribe, um, beside that just, oh yeah, you can tick that little bell, uh, tick it on all so you, you get a notification when I upload and drop new content, um, beside that I just you know, hope you watch the next episode and I hope you guys uh, take care and be kind to each other and uh, walk good.